Alright everybody, welcome back to another, well this ain't a free to play. Uh, today we're going to be playing the Cow Was Famous DLC, Cow Was a Hot Dog. We're going to get all the endings, so if I need to go get my notebook I will. Hopefully I will not have to do that like I did originally, but I think this is supposed to be a big DLC. As always, I'll leave a link to the DLC or the game in the comments, or in the description actually. Whoops. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate that as well. So we have all the endings except for these. Those. Alright. Hopefully. Alright. Kyle wakes up. He is famous. Wait, do I have to do anything special to... Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. He becomes something special. Ah, there we go. Kyle thought very carefully about the first move of his day. Become the hot dog salesman. Kyle laid in bed for a moment, thinking about the day ahead. Alright. He would produce another episode of his long-running show, Yes. Yes. Kyle thought about making breakfast. The same breakfast he had been making for the past nine years. Kyle thought about the clothes he would wear. They had not changed. For a long time. Kyle waited for something new and interesting to enter his head. Something fresh. Something exciting. Excited. Exciting? Yeah. Kyle continued to wait. Nothing came to mind. In a sudden moment of inspiration, Kyle threw his covers to the ground and stepped out of bed. Kyle had made a decision today. Would not be a part of an old journey. Today would be the start of something new. Kyle walked over to his desk and opened the mill drawer. He slowly removed an ancient, withered stick of meat. Slim Jim. Today, Kyle planned to make good on his childhood passion, the career he had abandoned to become a talk show host. Kyle looked caring caringly at the crusty old hot dog in his hand. Then he smiled. Okay. Then he bit his, bit his lips downwards and slowly sucked the hot dog into his mouth and down into his stomach. Kyle had become a hot dog vendor. He now must prepare for his first day running a hot dog stand. Start the day. Kyle exited his bed quickly. Exited his bed and took a quick glance around the bedroom. Open the closet. Choose Kyle opened the closet. It was dark and he could only really see his hanging shirts. Choose an outfit. Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit, knowing how important appearance was. Hot dog suit. Kyle put on his hot dog suit, which he had made by stitching hot dogs together when he was a child. Chew on the suit. Feeling fairly hungry, Kyle bent over and took a large bite out of the suit. He felt, ref felt refreshed. Okay, so we've already ate. It wasn't enough. Kyle continued to eat his clothing. Oh, God. Soon, Kyle had eaten most of his suit. The chunks were left, that were left were enough to act as clothes, but barely. Kyle felt satisfied. The hot dogs had nourished him greatly. Functionally giving him one more time in his day. Oh, interesting. Kyle returns to the center of his bedroom. Scavenge. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for hot dogs. Kyle started looking around for hot dogs. He crawled around, spreading layers of mold to the side with his hands and picking out interesting items. Kyle couldn't find any hot dogs, but instead he found a pile of love letters he had written in high school. Kyle pocketed the envelopes and got back to his feet. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. Sit at the desk. Kyle made his way over to the desk and sat down. Search for hot dogs. Kyle searched through his desk to find more hot dogs that he could sell. But Kyle had moved his hot dog stash somewhere else. He shut the desk drawers empty-handed. Kyle made his way over to the... Rewrite love letters. Kyle took out the letters from his pocket and set them on the desk. But after a moment, Kyle realized that he did not have any writing utensils. Kyle got up from the desk, from his desk, defeated but optimistic. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. Never mind. There's nothing here. What about resources? What's resources? Kyle began to comb through the damp piles of filth and mold on his floor in search for helpful items. After finding it and eating a few bits of crumbs and old cheese, Kyle found something much more important. Indeed, it was the corpse of Harry. Oh no, I don't want it. Leave him for another time. 
Exit bedroom to hallway. Uh, Kyle walked into the small hallway that connected the apartment rooms of his apartment together. Moved to the kitchen. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Think about hot dogs. Being in the kitchen gave Kyle a massive amount of hot dog related nostalgia. He stood still pondering. Continue to think about hot dogs. Kyle continued to think about hot dogs. Continue thinking about hot dogs. Kyle still continued to think about hot dogs. He thought about their flavor. He thought about how different brands tasted different. Continue thinking about hot dogs. Kyle thought about hot dog texture and their filling in his hand. Kyle was still thinking about hot dogs. Kyle's skin began to dissolve its bonds and melt from standing still too long. It began to spread across the floor, creating puddles throughout through the kitchen. Kyle's jaw caved, closing the top of his head to slowly drop backwards and point toward the ceiling. Kyle sunk lower and lower. His height was soon half of what it was before. Chunks of skin fell to the ground. This is gross. Kyle's fingers and legs fell off, dissolving into drops of ooze as they dropped. Kyle was a puddle, large puddle of melted skin with bumps where his main features used to be. Kyle's atoms had lost all of their bonds. He had nothing turned into nothing more than a meat-based soup. Kyle made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Kyle felt very ready for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Kyle started to unpack his thing on, things onto the corner of the street more. But as he unpacked, Kyle realized he had not taken the important steps of actually acquiring any hot dogs. Kyle knew that he, in order to continue, he was going to need to visit somewhere else close by to acquire hot dogs, the orphanage. Kyle decided that it would be best to go find some hot dogs at the local orphanage. To boost their local monthly income, the local orphanage ran several fundraisers that gave services to the city. Kyle subscribed to one such service. Volunteers would mash the orphans' toys and dead pets together and distribute the paste from a faucet behind the orphanage. That's gross. Residents of the city could pay a subscription fee to use the faucet for a certain period of time every day. Kyle had become a regular paste subscriber to get cheap food, juice, or glue depending on what he needed. Kyle walked behind the orphanage and swung open the faucet, hoping today's slurry was suitable to make hot dogs from. For a moment, nothing came out, but with a loud burst, the faucet started spewing out orphans. The orphans had staged an uprising and were escaping through the faucet. Finally free to the world, the orphans rushed forward, crushing Kyle beneath their feet. These are some big orphans. The orphans knew exactly what their plan was to be. They wasted no time putting it into action. Several orphans quickly constructed a large building. Others called their contract contacts in the marketing industry. Within minutes, the orphanage, orphans had constructed a large hot dog restaurant. Great. Immediately, denizens of the city began flooding through its doors to buy hot dogs. It was not long before the orphanage, orphans had completely taken over the local food industry. The reach of the hot dog shop increased. People stopped buying food, other food. Grocery stores closed. But the orphans were not finished. They soon expanded their business to all outlets. They mo monopolized insurance, retail, production, art, entertainment, and everything in between. Stale, stay Up Late with Kyle was taken off the air to be replaced with various orphan broadcasts. Soon, everything that Kyle was known for had been replaced with something orphan-related. Nevertheless, Kyle remained famous as the man to release the orphans, and he was featured in all of the orphan history books. Kyle did not sell any hot dogs. The orphans were prepared. Nice. 33 out of 58, what? Oh God. Skip. Start day. Open closet. Choose outfit. Hot dog soup. Chew on soup. Uh, I kind of want to see if I can melt, to be honest. Exit bedroom. Move to kitchen. Think about hot dogs. Let's get to the part where we melt and die. Kyle stopped thinking about hot dogs and moved on with his day. Okay, so that's all that happens. You melt and nothing good happens. 
Check pantry. Kyle wanted to access the pantry, but found it was locked with a small keyhole. Dang it. Kyle opened the fridge, intended to f intending to find something to eat. Searched the fridge for hot dogs. Kyle searched through the fridge, trying to find hot dogs. The search turned up nothing. Kyle was not surprised as he never stored meat in the refrigerator. Gross. Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find something to eat. Nothing. Well, that was useless. Uh, leave apartment. Kyle walked into the middle of the road and took a long, pondering look around him. Visit marketing agency. Kyle walked to the center of the agent agency entrance. It looked professional and had an attendant behind a desk. Rummage the trash. Kyle began rummaging around in the trash can looking for anything interesting. After picking through raptor, wrappers and cups, Kyle noticed there was a red button stuck to the bottom of the can. Press it. Kyle eagerly pressed the button. The wall above the trash can started look, shifting and spinning, eventually revealing a slab of pewter with an indent. Look at the indent. The slab was thick and old. A plaque was embedded in the top, reading, The slab embraces only a true weapon. I don't understand. Kyle made his way back to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Kyle felt very ready for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Kyle started to unpack his things onto the corner of the street. But as he unpacked, Kyle realized that he had not taken the important step of actually acquiring any hot dogs. Okay, we did the orphanage last time. Let's go to the tech store. Kyle thought that the local tech store would be probably have what he needed for his hot dog business. Kyle stepped inside, looking forward to the lovely interaction that was upon him. The store's walls were lined with electro electronic gadgets and apparel, important to each citizen's everyday life. Kyle was amused. His love techno gym. He he loved techno gym. He loved the friendly store clerks. This was a comforting place for him to be. Kyle walked straight into the employee's break room and began rummaging around for things to take with him. Within a few minutes, Kyle had found a healthy stash of wallets and a phone, but no hot dogs. Kyle pushed past the circle of store clerks, pounding on his back and shouting to look, <laughs> to look inside the employee fridge. Inside, Kyle found several packed lunches, half-eaten subs, and a few bottled drinks, but no hot dogs. Kyle slid his way through the crowd of employees and law, law officials and walked outside. The sun was setting, creating a soft glow of orange in the sky. The birds twittered. Kyle lifted his head high and breathed in deeply. He smiled. Maybe selling hot dogs wasn't, that, wasn't what was important. The world was lovely shining. Kyle felt like he needed to appreciate nature. Kyle was flattened by the SWAT helicopter that had been called to stop his tech store rampage. Kyle had pro been properly stopped. Job well done. The SWAT helicopter flew away. Being now completely flat and also washable, Kyle became the first reusable source of printer paper. Companies rented Kyle for days and months at a time to help increase printer-related productivity and reduce waste. Kyle single-handedly reduced greenhouse, ga greenhouse gas production by 56%. Eventually, Kyle was replaced with the also renewable laser engraved mold lumps. Humanity flourished. Kyle became printable. Let me check something real quick. Why does this not have all my endings? Because I had the true ending one. But it's not here. Gone. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Uh, twenty-two endings. We have two. Kyle wakes up. He's famous. Become something special. Become a hot dog salesman. Yep. Start the day. Um, I need the key. Check the desk drawer. Kyle. Opened up the side drawer on his desk and grabbed one of the items sorted there. Small key. Kyle grabbed the small key he kept in his desk. Alright, back to room. Exit bedroom in the hallway. Use hot dog magic! Kyle walked over to the strange drawer in the hallway, but found that the door was locked from the inside. Use hot dog magic. With a hum and a pop, Kyle used his massive knowledge of hot dog magic to change the door handle into a hot dog. 
Kyle sucked the hot dog into his, his mouth, opening the door, and walked through. Kyle found himself in the room. He stashed various items sent to him by fans. Search for hot dog, Matt, uh, stand. Kyle started looking around for anything he could use to make a hot dog stand. Kyle rooted around the, the scattered boxes and loose items. He picked up buckets, pieces of wood, rusty nails, and bits of string. Soon he had enough loose items to be reasonably sure of being able to craft a stand that wouldn't fall over. Kyle walked into the small hallway that connects. Okay, we got a stand. Dope. That's going to be important. Check pantry. Unlock the small key. The pantry door lock creaked as if it hadn't moved in years, but eventually opened. Look in pantry. Insert, instead of an assortment of canned goods and grains, Kyle's pantry stored his, Kyle's pantry stored his massive amount of bottled water. Grab hot dogs. Kyle searched around the pantry for a selection of hot dogs. After a few minutes of searching, Kyle found several stashes of old hot dogs loose in, in paper bags. He gathered them together and saw that he had a serviceable amount of hot dogs. Okay. Turn to hallway. Leave apartment. Visit downstairs neighbor. Kyle approached his downstairs neighbor door and downstairs neighbor's door and knocked. A middle aged woman named Gabby answered the door. She looked at Kyle expectantly. Greet and start a conversation. Good morning, neighbor, said Kyle uh, Kyle cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle expectantly. Ah, that's what I need. Tell Gabby about hot dog stand sales. Gabby, Kyle said, I think I have a, had a big change in my life today. Gabby raised her eyebrows. I'm giving it all up, Gabby. It's time for me to follow my heart. I'm not... I'm going to sell hot dogs now, Kyle looked into her eyes. Gabby looked over her shoulder, trying to find an escape. Good job, Kyle, she says. Sounds like you better get started on that right away. Kyle realized that Gabby was right and returned back to the street. Okay. Kyle made his way to the street corner, but there was a problem. In his rush to collect the things he would need to be a properly to properly be a hot dog salesman, Kyle had forgotten to put on clothes. Kyle decided to continue onward and just hope no one noticed. Unfortunately, many people noticed. Kyle spent his night in jail for indecent exposure. The next day, Kyle was released with a small fine. He had missed his opportunity to sell hot dogs. Kyle went to jail. Still counts as an ending. Let's go. Skip. Become something special. Become a hot dog salesman. Skip. Start day. So now, choose an outfit. Hot dog suit. We're not going to chew on the suit because I think starving to death is a different ending. Probably. I'm going to just look around. Leave apartment. Uh, visit tech store. Kyle walked into the clean white tech store. He was greeted by Techno Gym, an elaborate cutout mascot with flashing lights. Talk about hot dogs. Excited by his new hot job as a hot dog salesman, Kyle decided to share his happiness with the store clerk. As Kyle opened his mouth to speak, his stomach contracted violently. Violently, Kyle started spewing out undigested chunks of hot dogs and chunks of his stomach lining. The hot dog Kyle had eaten earlier had multiplied in his stomach, causing a massive amount of hot dog pieces to grow inside him. After a couple minutes of spewing, Kyle stopped and looked. he looked at the attendant. Oh, you know. Kyle rolled, his eyes smiled slightly as he shrugged. The uh, attendant didn't, did not seem to want to respond, so Kyle decided to leave the tech store. Visit the tech store. Give a review of a free sample. This phone, said Kyle. It's several years old and has exposed wires coming out of the back. Kyle continued, the phone also has had screen issues after I used it into hammer nails into the wall for a painting. Furthermore, when I submerged it into water, I got severely shocked until it runs out of battery. The tenant looked at Kyle, perched his lips, and said nothing. Feeling he had made an argument, Kyle decided to leave. Kyle walked out of blah blah blah. Uh, visit downstairs neighbor. Can I have a pen? Uh, Gabby, this is important, said Kyle. Could, do you have a pen I could borrow? Kyle. Kyle, said Gabby. Don't you have even a single pen of your own? No, Gabby, said Kyle, clutching her arms and looking into her eyes. I haven't written since high school. Gabby stared at Kyle and pursed her lips.
After a moment, she took a pen out of her pocket. Cal, I'll give you a pen, but please be careful with what you write. Harsh words are a weapon to wield carefully. Cal mumbled into agreement, to take, took the pen, and skipped away from Gabby's house. Cal made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Cal felt ready, very ready, for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Cal started to unpack his things and onto the corner of the street. But as he unpacked, Cal realized he had not taken the important step of actually acquiring any hot dogs. Oh, so I don't starve to death if I don't eat this one? Uh, shopping center. Cal beelined for the local shopping mall, reasoning that there would probably, probably be hot dogs somewhere inside. But as Cal walked inside, he was met with this new sensation. Around him, bright lights flashed. Companies told him about the products and services they offered. It was foreign. Cal had never gone shopping. Immediately, Cal fell victim to a hundred different advertising schemes at once. He began to span and thought at the mouth, dreaming of the many products that were within his immediate grasp. It was time for Kyle to spend. Kyle reached into his pocket, removed every bill and piece of change, and ran into the nearest store. Still thought, frothing, he appeared, approached the woman behind the counter and screamed, Arg! Kyle gestured dramatically and flicked his bloodshot eyes around. Without an answer, he slammed his money on the counter and started grabbing close items with both hands. Kyle continued to voraciously grab every item he could find, filling his sh pocket shirts and eventually underwear. But it wasn't enough. Kyle whisked into his, the foyer and entered a different store. Over a period of several hours, Kyle systematically emptied every store in the mall of all their goods. Strangely, Kyle had stumbled upon a, an incredible business decision. Now that Kyle controlled all products in the metropolitan area, metropolitan area, all businesses had to flow through him. Kyle became a shopping mo mogul. He renovated his apartment into a one-stop shop for all needs. Within a few months, the sheer amount of customers entering and exiting his apartment caused a clog. A solid mass of body fat blocked entrance and exit. The inside of Kyle's apartment had become its own ecosystem. Life prospered in the newly formed bubbles, couples wed, burials, joy, culinary arts. Kyle had created something very special. Kyle created a new society. Start. Skip. Become something special. Become a hot dog man. Skip. Yes. Start day. So, we'll do the same thing and just like... Don't you on the suit. We'll do the um, other option, the fourth option, because we've done the other two. What else is there that I can look at? Visit the marketing agency. Mm. Approach attendant. Kyle walked over to the attendant and gave her a smile. Pretend to die. Kyle let out a blood curdling scream and fell onto the, the attendant's desk face first. The attendant did not buy Kyle's desk. She continued working. Trying to sell the effect, Kyle lay on the attendant's desk for several hours motionless. Eventually, Kyle sheepishly stood up and wordlessly walked out of the agency. Visit it again. Oh, I can't do anything else with her? Okay, we don't play death anymore. Rubbish in the trash. After picking through wrappers, Kyle noticed there was a red button stuck to the bottom of the can. I want to press it again. Kyle eagerly pressed the red button. The wall above the trash can started shifting and spinning, eventually a revealing a slab of pewter with an instant. I don't know what the... Is it one? My sword? Inspect the slab. The slab only embraces the true weapon. Well, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Kyle made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Kyle felt ready for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Kyle started to unpack his things onto the corner of the street. But as he unpacked, Kyle realized he had not taken the important step of inquiring, actually acquiring any hot dogs. Kyle knew that in order to continue, he was going to need to visit somewhere close by to try to acquire hot dogs, abandoned warehouse. Kyle jumped into action, knowing that time was of the essence. He turned around, briefly surveyed his surroundings, and entered the first door that he saw. 
Kyle found himself found himself in the middle of a dilapidated warehouse that had not seen any humans for many many years. The warehouse walls were plastered with a thick layer of grime, sticky from the damp air. But Kyle never saw the grime. All Kyle could see were the rats. Like a bristling ocean, cats or rats covered every surface of the warehouse, floor, ceiling, walls, and everything in between. Kyle started to grab the to grab rats with both hands and shoved them into a supply pack. His pack filled quickly. Kyle continued stashing rats into every open crevice. Within minutes, his pack was jam-packed with rats, but Kyle was not finished. Kyle began to wade through the expanse of rats in search of a starchy substance to use for bar buds. As he searched, Kyle scraped long gashes of grime off every nearby surface to be used for toppings or his own later enjoyment. After searching for a small period of time, Kyle found exactly what he needed. Hidden like a gemstone among the boulders was a vintage loaf of bread left behind in the rubble. Kyle snatched the hidden treasure and danced his way outside. With, it, with vig vigor, Kyle began assembling his culinary delights by inserting the swarming rats into folded bits of bread. This was not to be just for one or two lucky passerby. Kyle knew his rat treats would be very popular. In an effort to jumpstart sales, Kyle began chucking the rat sandwiches at passerbys as samples. The rats, now free from their bondage, flung themselves into the world. Kyle's immediate surroundings turned into chaos. Hearing the calls of his, the prison brothers, rats began pouring out of every crevice, the trash bin, and drain within sight. The rats piled themselves over every surface in person, creating a thick wall of rat flesh. The rats had blocked out the sun. The wind was gone. No birds could be heard. The... <laughs> City entered into a new form of normal. Lights was scarce. Light was scarce. Gangs ran rampant. The air itself was thin. After several years, the rats melted into each other, creating a solid mass that couldn't couldn't be penetrated. Further generations did not know what life was like outside the rat bubble. Kyle changed the world forever. Kyle found rats. Do do do. We have five endings. We're fourth of the way there. Skip. Hot dog salesman. Skip. Start day. Okay. So I know something is to his outfit. Hot dog suit. Chew on suit. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is Yeah, yeah, I got it. We're gonna get a pin from Gabby. New apartment. Visit Gabby. Give me your pen, please. Ask Gabby for a pen. She talks way too long before she gives me the actual pen. And then I go return to my apartment. Return to bedroom. Sit desk. Search for hot dogs. What the world? Where's the notes? I thought there was like write love letters or something. I said it the wrong thing. Back to room. Scavenge? Kyle started looking around for hot dogs. He crawled around, spreading layers of mold to the side with his hand and picking out interesting items. Kyle couldn't find any hot dogs, but instead he found a pile of love letters he had written in high school. Kyle pocketed the letters and got back to his feet. Ah, that's what happened. Rewrite love letters. Kyle took out the letters from his pocket and sat them on the desk. Kyle looked at the front and looked at the letter in front of him for a moment. Then in a burst of inspiration, he started to write. Write about fish. Kyle decided Abigail probably wanted to hear about fish. After writing about the fish for a couple hours, Kyle got finished and got up from his desk. Kyle made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Kyle felt very ready for his first day as a hot dog letter of her hot dog salesman. Kyle started to unpack his things onto the corner of the street, unpack love letters. As Kyle was unpacking his hand brush, the old love letters he had picked up earlier, he stopped. Kyle tugged at something tugged at Kyle's heart. These letters were a piece of himself. These letters were a piece of history. Kyle realized it was time to give these letters to their original intended recipients. Kyle looked at the top letter of the stack. It was addressed to Abigail, a girl Kyle had liked during high school. Abigail had moved to the other side of the city with her husband a few years ago, 
but Kyle was willing to make the trip. Kyle skipped away to Abigail's house, letter in hand. It wasn't that Kyle liked Abigail anymore. It wasn't that he missed her. To Kyle, this was more important than that. After an hour, an hour of walking, Kyle finally reached Abigail's front door. With the excitement in his heart, Kyle took a breath and knocked on the door. Abigail opened. Kyle, she said, smiling. What are you doing here? It's been so long. Abby, said Kyle. I have something I want to read on to you. Kyle took the letter to Abigail, clutched in his hand, opened it, and began to read. Hello, Abigail, said Kyle. I am very obsessed with fish. Sometimes I glue fish to my face and on my feet so I can feel like I am a fish. Then I wallow on the floor. I would not mind watching you eat whole fish. I believe consuming fish is a good way to bond with each other. Kyle looked at Abigail briefly to emphasize his next sentence. I wish you were a fish, because I like fish much better than you. Abigail put her hand on Kyle's letter. Kyle, stop, she said. There's no need for that, because I am already a fish. Abigail suddenly sprouted fins from her waist. Her face turned into a gap gasping bass with bugged eyes. Abigail fell to the ground and started flailing around, making wet slapping sounds against the pavement. Kyle was delighted. <laughs> Kyle, Abigail, and her husband started a fast friendship. They spent evenings talking, laughing, and sharing meals. They talked about fish often. It was filling and meaningful to all of them. Kyle had found a new meaningful set of friends. Kyle found a fish. Skip. Come something special. Come on, hot dog salesman. Skip. Kyle had become a hot dog vendor, something, something, open closet, get some clothes, hot dog suit, chew on suit, more, more, I need a pen. Alright, Gabby, give me that pen. And now I gotta do one where I don't use the pen, so. Alright, we got the pen from Gabby, return to apartment. Return bedroom, scavenge for the, yep. And then we get our letters, back to bedroom, set desk, we write love letters, more. Point out recipient's flaws. That seems like a good one. Kyle decided to make some important comments about his high school crush that he that had been on his mind. After being upfront and honest, Kyle had produced a letter that was definitely weapon-like in nature. Kyle returned to the center of the room. It's a bedroom hallway. Uh, check lock door. Force the door with forehead. Kyle decided it would be best to force try to force the door with his face. Ah, amnesia. Kyle made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Kyle felt very ready for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Unpack love letters. As Kyle was unpacking, his hand brushed the love, old love letters he had picked up earlier. He stopped. Kyle, something tugged at Kyle's heart. These letters were a piece of himself. These letters were a piece of history. Kyle realized it was something, something. Okay, we're going to go to Abigail. Got it. Kyle skipped to Abigail's. Wasn't that Kyle? Yeah, got it. After an hour, with excitement in his heart, Kyle took a breath and knocked on the door. Abigail opened. Kyle, she said, smiling. What are you doing? What are you doing here? It's been so long. Abby said, Kyle, I have something I want to read to you. Kyle looked into Abigail's eyes, smiled, and opened the letter. Hi, Abby, he read. I do not understand how people can appreciate you. I pretend to have a crush on you, but it's only because I'm bored. I don't actually like you much at all. It starts with the fact that you're not very attractive. If you took more time for, on your appearance, I might like you for real. But that wouldn't solve the problem of your bland and meaningless personality. That you probably can't fix. Kyle looked up and finished. I would tell you to keep trying, but I'm not convinced it would make a difference. Abigail looked at Kyle softly and said, Oh, Kyle, have you been bottling that up since high school? She gave Kyle a supportive hug. I'm sure that's been on your mind, and I'm glad you got, that off, the, got it off your chest. Kyle accepted the hug. It really has been. I've been thinking about it a lot. <laughs> the two chatted idly for a while about high school and where their classmates were now. After about an hour, Kyle decided it was time to leave. Abigail and Kyle said their goodbyes. She told 
him to keep getting his feelings out so he can get past him. As Kyle walked home, he realized how incredibly abnormal it was to have such caring friends. Perhaps tomorrow he would start selling hot dogs, but tonight he was glad to have instead spent his time with good company. Abigail's a homie. Kyle reunited a new friendship. Become something special, become hot dog salesman, skip. Start day. Open closet. Hot dog suit. Yep. Chew on suit. Get my hours back. Thank you, game. Okay, this time we're not going to write on the letters. We're just going to take the letters. What's in the desk again? Kyle had moved his hot dog suit. Okay, so there's nothing there. Back to room. Scavenge. Hot dogs. Give me the letters. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take the um, sword to that slab just to see if that's what it is. It might just want hot dogs, but I'm going to see if the slabs will work. Get laser claymore. more. Back to hallway. Leave apartment. Visit marketing agency. Rummage and trash. Yes. Press. Kyle eagerly really pressed the button. The wall above the trash can started shifting and spinning, eventually revealing a slab pewter with an indent. Yes, I thought so. The slab was thick and old. A plaque was embedded in the top reading, The slab embraces only a true weapon. Insert Claymore. Kyle inserted the laser claymore, claymore into the indent. The claymore fit perfectly, snapping into place. Small metal hooks came out of all of... Out of all of sides of the slab to hold it in place. With a pop fizz, a magical elf chuckle, <laughs> a human sized rainbow gateway to another dimension appeared. The portal su started sucking everything near it inwards, en enveloping chairs, trash cans, and Kyle himself. Kyle became a dizzying swirl. Lights and colors flashed all around him. He spun in circles rapidly, and for a moment, Kyle fell into the Gummy Bear and Claymore land where all matter is either gummy bears or claymores. Lame. Or, I mean, weird. Kyle was approached by a... I don't know why I said lame. Kyle was approached by a group of roaming gummy wasteland elves. Because of the harsh environment they lived in, the elves used their kin as blunt weapons to fend off their attackers. Kyle looked upon the elves and realized they must live in a depressed and war-torn culture. And then, in a moment of pure empathy, Kyle decided to help the elves. Kyle grabbed the two nearest elves, one in each hand, and started to give them a talking to about war and his troubles. Hello, you two, said Kyle. I wish to give you a bit of advice. But before Kyle could say anything more, the ground started shifting and morphed into a gummy bear monster. Kyle chucked the elves as he was holding at the monster to fend it off, but it was to no avail. The monster charged at Kyle, throwing elves to the sides as it sped forward. Kyle had no choice but to become a gummy bear monster himself. He started to cover himself in gummy bears and claymores, the substances stuck to his skin like meaningful gooey hugs. Within moments of a vicious, sticky Within moments of vicious, sticky movement, Kyle was covered in the new world's material. Then something wonderful happened. Using a combination of determination, elf magic, and method acting, Kyle tr truly transformed into a real gummy monster. But his, in his new form, Kyle was, n uh, was now not interested in fighting the other gummy monster. Kyle began swallowing every elf in sight in a wild, crazy rampage. What, over the next several hours, Kyle rampaged around the whole gummy world, eating every last elf whole. Kyle had gifted the elves with a warm, nutritious war new world to live in. Over time, the elves created a new society inside Kyle's stomach. There was no need for war. They feasted on Kyle's stomach juices. Their culture entered a golden age. Interesting. Eventually, Kyle turned back into a normal person and returned home. But the elves continued to live inside him. Kyle had saved a culture. Kyle helped the elves. <laughs> now I gotta take the dang notes again and not write on them. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I don't have the four rest of my endings from Kyle's Famous, because I got all the endings my first playthrough. And now I got all the endings for the Santa one, but... His outfit, hot dog suit, eat on the suit, yes. More, more, more. Scavenge. We need the notes. Give me the notes. Alright, what happens if I ignore the slab? 
Let's see. Return the slab. It's Ramsey's. Rummage and trash. More. Ignore it. Kyle decided to ignore the button for now and stood up. Oh, well, we already did that now. Approach attendant. Kyle walked over to the attendant and gave her a smile. Ask about marketing. Kyle took a deep breath. So, how does the whole marketing thing work? Well, said the attendant, we offer several packages for old and new media starting around $100 customized for your needs. Kyle bit his lips. Right, so what can I get for free? The attendant stared blankly. Nothing, not really anything. Kyle didn't answer and stood there staring for a moment, then walked away. Approach the attendant. Kyle walked over to the attendant and gave her a smile. Ask about life. Hey you, said Kyle. What's going on? How's life? Before the attendant could answer, Kyle continued. Do you enjoy your life? Are you happy? How are your home relationships? How much debt are you in? Kyle started pounding his fist emphatically on the table. The attendant brightened. I have been waiting for someone to ask. Kyle and the attendant spent several hours in an upbeat conversation about life. Both enjoyed. This is a marketing agency. Kyle walked to the center of the center of the agency entrance. It looked professional and had an attendant behind the desk. Kyle made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Kyle felt very ready for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Unpack letters. As Kyle was unpacking his hand brushed the old letters he had picked up earlier. He stopped. Something tugged at Kyle's heart. These letters were... Oh god, okay, we got it. We're going to, we're going to visit Abigail. I have something more important than that. After a wa an hour of walking, Kyle finally reached Abigail's door. With excitement in his heart, Kyle took a breath and knocked on the door. Abigail opened. Kyle, she said, smiling. What are you doing here? It's been so long. Abby, said Kyle, I have something I want to read to you. Kyle took the, <laughs> took the letter to Abigail, clutched in his hand, and opened it for the first time in 14 years. Dear Abby, he read, I feel funny when I look at you. Sometimes I think about you when I lie awake at night, but sometime also sometimes not, but that's less often. I also talk about you constantly to everyone when you're not around, but it's not always good things. Sometimes I also steal your lunches when you're not looking and keep them in a drawer at my house to look at when I'm bored. I want you to promise me something. Kyle looked at Abby meaningf meaningfully. Promise you like, like me. And if you do like, like me, please show me by shoving live fish down your throat as a sign of dedication. Shut, Abigail shut the door. Kyle looked up from the letter and stopped reading. He looked at the door in front of him. He realized that Abigail probably had something she had to do, so he decided to leave her letters f for her to read later. Kyle pressed the letters against the door and against the door, pressing the letters against the door and pushed firmly. He took a nearby rock and drove it through the papers into the door so Abigail could not miss them. With evening dawning, Kyle went home satisfied that he had finished an old, old chapter of his life. When Kyle got home, he realized that he loved writing that he loved writing letters to Abigail. He decided that he would continue to do so every day and make her his pen pal. Kyle fell asleep with a smile. It had been a good day. Kyle got a pen pal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Start. Skip. Alright, become something special. Hot dog salesman. Yep. Start day. Alright, how should I do this? Should I get the key first? Yeah, let's go to the desk and then we'll eat our suit. See if we get more time back. Chicken desk drawer. Small key. Thank you. Um, back to room. Open the closet. Choose an outfit. Hot dog suit. Cue on suit. Ah, so it does. So you can do that last and get like all your time back, which would be smart. But I didn't do it, so it's I. Right. Turn to bedroom. Exit bedroom to hallway. 
I think I did that wrong. It's alright. Check lock door. Use hot dog magic. Enter room. Search for hot dog stand. Thank you. Alright, move to kitchen. Check pantry. I'm back with small keys. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Did I grab the hot dog? Grab hot dogs. Back to kitchen. Turn to hallway. Leave apartment. Is there anything else I needed to be a hot dog salesman? I think that's about it. Um, let's visit the tech store. Still Techno Jim. Quickly, before the attendant could acknowledge him, Kyle grabbed Techno Jim by the shoulders. Finding that Techno Jim... I think I've already done this. This doesn't change. I just want to take him with me. <laughs> okay. All right. Kyle made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Kyle felt very ready for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Kyle started to unpack his things onto the corner of the street. Kyle took out his car pieces and began to assemble them. With little trouble, Kyle was able to finish constructing a serviceable hot dog stand. Continue. We'll eat it later. Kyle then started to place hot dogs he had brought into the cart. They were cold, but Kyle had never cooked his hot dogs as a child, and he didn't want to start now. His prep was finished. Oh, you can. You <laughs> his prep finished, Kyle looked around and smiled, waiting for his cu first customer. Use Techno Gym. But after waiting for a moment and getting bored, Kyle decided to use Techno Gym as the first customer. Kyle set Techno Gym in front of, the front of his cart. He stood and looked at him with for a second, smiling, then he spoke. Techno Gym, said Kyle, smirking slightly. Would you like to buy my first hot dog? Techno Gym refused. Kyle's smirk turned into a frown. Techno Jim, why don't you want to buy one of my hot dogs? Techno Jim was not able to eat hot dogs. Kyle was exasperated. Well then, Techno Jimbo, what could I possibly offer you that you would be interested in? Techno Jim would be happy to eat Kyle. Kyle stared blankly at Techno Jim confused. Jimbo would be happy to eat Kyle? Techno Jim reached across the hot dog stand, hoisting Kyle towards his face. Holy crap. One smooth motion, Techno Jim opened his mouth and just Kyle. There was a quiet sound of something sliding down the inside of Techno Jim's stomach. Then there was silence. Techno Jim ending. Holy crap, Techno Jim ate me? What the fuck? Okay, dude. I, I used to like you, Techno Jim. Alright, so I want to come something special. I'm a hot dog salesman. Skip. Start day. Sit desk. Check in desk drawer. I want the small key and the flashlight. I don't remember what all this stuff does, but... I think I can buy batteries from the... Let's see if I can buy batteries in this one. There's a tech store. Buy batteries with change. Still Techno Gym. Turn to apartment. Turn to bedroom. Open the closet. Choose an outfit. Hot dog suit. Chew on suit. Okay, so I can give you a total of four hours. What if I... I wonder... Let's see. I want to check. Move to kitchen. Check pantry. Unlock with small key. Grab hot dogs. Back to kitchen. Turn to hallway. Turn to bedroom. Open closet. Spec with flashlight. God dang it, I didn't make it in time. I was trying to do too much, I think. Kyle started to unpack his things onto the corner of the street. As he unpacked, Kyle realized he'd never gotten a car to make his hot dogs in. Kyle had no choice but to place his hot dogs on the ground. Looking at the hot dogs strewn across the sidewalk, Kyle realized he had found a golden opportunity. Kyle began to roll his hot dogs along in the dirt, pressing firmly so it would be embedded on, into the food. After a while, his back became sore from bending over. Kyle continued with the bottom of his shoe. 
Soon, all of the hot dogs had been sufficiently seasoned. Kyle swept his hot dogs into a pile and sat them on the concrete next to them. It was a warm day, and lots of people were walking by. It wouldn't be long before someone came over to buy a hot dog. And in a couple of minutes, as, Kyle, as expected, a figure stepped over and stood in front of Kyle. Kyle, said Gabby, what are you doing? Gabby, today I'm fulfilling my hot dog dream, said Kyle. This is my hot dog stand. Gabby wasn't sure what to say. Kyle, I... Gabby searched for a way to tell Kyle gently that he was not about to sell any hot dogs. And then in a moment of pure passion and grace, Gabby decided to be Ga Kyle's first customer. Kyle, I want to help inspire you, said Gabby. How much is a single hot dog? Kyle wordlessly grabbed a hot dog from his pile, jumped to his feet, and shoved it into Gabby's mouth hole. Gabby realized that the hot dogs were delicious. Driven by pure empathy, Gabby began to grab passerby on the street and force feed them Kyle's hot dogs. One by one, the citizens of the city became embarrassingly obsessed with his hot dogs. As Kyle pile, Kyle's pile of hot dogs ran out, the demand for his wares increased. Kyle's hot dogs became a valuable form of currency. They were sold, brought, bought and sold on the international stock market. Men and women were made from rich from investing in Kyle's hot dogs. Kyle's hot dogs were all quickly snatched by investors. Having nothing left, Kyle decided to go home. As he entered his apartment, Kyle stopped. Today he had learned, turned over a new leaf. Today he had followed his dream. Kyle had helped the economy, yes, but he had also grown as a person. Kyle was content. Kyle was content ending. So now we're going to do that, but we're going to eat Gabby. See what happens. Skip. So, become something special. I'm a hot dog salesman. Skip. Start day. Sit. Open desk. Go to her open closet. Choose outfit. Hot dog suit. Shoe on suit. All right, now we go to the desk. We get our key. All right, back to room. Exit bedroom to hallway. Move to kitchen. Check pantry. Unlock a small key. Grab hot dogs. All right, now we eat Gabby. All right, return to hallway, leave apartment, visit downstairs neighbor, assume wow. Gabby. Kyle unhinged his jaw and swallowed Gabby whole. Job done, Kyle returns to the middle of the street. This a tech store. Talk about hot dogs, excited by his new job as a hot dog salesman. I think that's the same thing. Yeah, I've already done that. Kyle made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Kyle felt very ready for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Kyle started to unpack his things onto the corner of the street. As he unpacked, Kyle realized he had never gotten a food cart to make his hot dogs in. Kyle had no choice but to place the hot dogs on the ground. Looking at the hot dogs strewn across the sidewalk, Kyle realized he had found a golden opportunity. Kyle began to roll his hot dogs around in the dirt, pressing firmly so it wouldn't be embedded into his food. After a while, his back became sore after from bending over. Kyle continued with the bottom of his shoe. Soon after, soon all of the hot dogs had been sufficiently seasoned. Kyle swept his hot dogs into a pile and sat on the concrete next to them. Produced Gabby. Then Kyle spat Gabby out of his mouth. Gabby tumbled to the ground. She stared at Kyle. Gabby, said Kyle, I need you to be my hot dog cart because I forgot to bring one. Kyle, I really don't want to do that. Gabby got to her feet to go back to her house. But then Kyle had an idea. Gabby, no, said Kyle excitedly. You will sell my hot dogs, and I will be your table. Kyle got down on his hands and knees and motioned with his head for Gabby to come over. Gabby pursed her lips with having nothing better to do. She decided to play, play along. Gabby piled the hot dogs on top of Kyle, sat on the ground behind him, and stared forward with a blur bored look. Within a few minutes, a curious crowd of observers had gathered. Gabby looked at them, but did not speak. Kyle began to grow worried. Gabby! He whispered, prodding her knee. 
You need to tell them to buy my hot dogs. Gabby smoothly put her hand on Kyle's mouth and then addressed the crowd. Hello everyone, said Gabby. It is time. Gabby immediately started ballooning in size, sprouting new arms and mouths from every part of her body. The mouths on her body opened and started to spit out camera bots. They crawled away to scour the city. Gabby had turned into her ultimate form of the mega bug vigilante. Under Gabby's watch, crime was completely eliminated in the city. Peace was everywhere. But over the coming months, Gabby continued to produce, grow and produce camera bots. Eventually, the city was completely covered by Gabby's body and creations. There was little room to sit or walk. During this time, Kyle conducted many interviews on the current state of Gabby and the benefits and deficits of her reign. But through the new, exciting, distinctive time in his life, Kyle felt a bit empty. He did not manage to sell out a single hot dog. Gabby protected. All right. Skip. Come something special. Come a hot dog salesman. Skip. Start day. No, 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 not yet. Back to bedroom. Set desk. Check in desk drawer. Flashlight. Back to desk. Check in desk drawer. Small key. Back to desk. Check in desk drawer. Sort of change. Back to desk. Back to room. Open my closet. Choose an outfit. Hot dog suit. Two on suit. All right, we got 23 hours. Exit bedroom to hallway. Move to kitchen. Check pantry. Lock with small key. Look in pantry. Grab hot dogs. Back to kitchen. Return to hallway. Leave apartment. Visit tech store. Buy batteries with change. Insert in the flashlight. Back to tech shop. Turn to street. Turn to apartment. Turn to bedroom. Open closet. Spec with flashlight. Kyle shined his flashlight into the moist cave like closet that had not seen light in years. After several minutes of searching around with the light, Kyle saw something unusual in the back. A small metal box with a large red button sat in the back, stamped with a time travel time label. Travel time. Kyle boarded the situation, mashed the button, hardly reading the label above. The, Kyle hummed and, the box hummed and shook. The outside metal grew hot and slowly curved in on itself. In a moment, it was early in the morning, Kyle had gained several hours of preparation time. Nice. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. I should have saved the box. Yeah, whatever. It's all good. Uh, well, I got all this time now. What do I want to do? Check lock door. Use hot dog magic. More. Search for hot dog stand. Oh, I need techno gym. I forgot I need, wait, don't I need techno gym to do the thing? Leave apartment. Visit tech store. Still techno gym. All right. Now return to apartment. Turn to bedroom. Open the closet. Ah, nothing. Dang it. Uh, what do I want to do now? Oh, I could purchase marketing because I got the spare change. Kyle walked over to the attendant and gave her a smile. Purchase marketing. Kyle walked to the desk and placed his pocket change on the table. How much marketing can I get for this? Asked Kyle. The attendant looked over, looked at his offerings. Um, maybe like a piece of paper on the message board outside, said the attendant. Kyle wordlessly purchased the flyer and walked out the door. Nice. All right. Kyle made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Kyle felt very ready for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Kyle started to unpack his things onto the corner of the street. Kyle took out his piece, car pieces and began to assemble them. With a little trouble, Kyle was able to finish constructing a serviceable hot dog stand. Continue. Kyle then started to place the hot dogs he had bought, brought into the cart. They were cold, but Kyle had never cooked his hot dogs as a child and didn't want to start now. 
As prep finished, Kyle looked around and smiled, waiting for his first customer. More. After a few minutes of waiting, one customer came to Kyle's stand. After a brief exchange of pleasantries, the customer bought two hot dogs and left please. About 30 minutes later, two girls came over to the stand and bought one hot dog each. Over the next few hours, Kyle received a healthy handful of customers, each, eating, each left with a hot dog and smile. And as evening fell, Kyle found himself to be just about out, sold out of hot dogs. Tired but pleased, Kyle closed his stand for the day and wheeled it home. Kyle had been, made a modest but livable amount of money at his hot dog stand th that day. It would be hard, but if he could kept his focus, he could make it work. Millions of fans were confused as to why Kyle hadn't shown up for his show that evening. But the few that had bought a hot dog from him understood. They knew that Kyle made a decent hot dog stand for salesman. Kyle was a salesman. So we haven't got the Omega ending yet. So that's that one. Doing pretty good though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How, over halfway there. Sit at desk. Open the closet. Dress drawer. Sort of change. Back to desk. Check in dress drawer. Small key. Back to check. I don't think I need the flashlight actually, but I'll take it anyways. For what I'm trying to do. Back to room. Open the closet. She's an outfit. Hot dog suit. Shoe on suit. Okay. Back to room. It's a bedroom to hallway. Check lock door. Use hot dog magic. Yay. Search for hot dog stand. Now I need to get the uh, move to kitchen. Check pantry. Unlock a small key. Look in pantry. Grab hot dogs. Think about hot dogs. Stop thinking about hot dogs. Back to kitchen. Uh, open fridge. Okay. Uh, eat. Kyle started to tear chunks of out of the stand he had just constructed and shoved them into his mouth. Within moments, the stand had lost m most of its structural stability and collapsed into a pile on the ground. Kyle did not stop. He took no enjoyment from eating his stand, hot dog stand, but he knew he must continue. A small crowd formed around Kyle. Kyle stopped eating. He slowly craned his neck to look at the people circled around him. Shield hot dogs. Kyle knew he needed to impress the people gathered around him in order to sell the hot dogs. Kyle forced a smile on his face and looked at his nearest-to-be customer. Kyle's eyes were blank and without mirth. Kyle had chosen to grin at Tyler Ruff and Gruff McPherson, which was a mistake. <laughs> Kyle screamed to the hot heavens in unbridled rage, raised both fists into the air, and slammed Kyle's face into the concrete. Kyle began curb-stomping Kyle with alternating feet, screaming endlessly. Kyle was confused. Something was familiar about this situation, like a whisper of a dream coming back after being hidden for many years. Still screaming, Kyle scooped, Tyler scooped Kyle into his mouth and swallowed him whole. And that's when Kyle remembered. Kyle was brought back to his time as a child. He, stood, he spent his childhood in the yard finding sticks he didn't eat. He had no family. Or did he have a family? Was there a kind mother behind him? A father coming home soon? A brother? A sister? No, there was not. But there was Tyler. Tyler had started his as a bump on Kyle's hand. Kyle had thought it was a bug bite or small irritation. Over time, the bump grew in size. Soon, it sprouted teeth. Kyle nurtured the bump by feeding it sticks. It continued to grow and became ever more hungry. Jesus. But one day, Kyle noticed that the bump had changed. The hungry bump had turned into a large, hairy, loud man who was also angry. The man burst from Kyle's arm and ran off into the distance never, distance, never to be seen again. Not until today. Kyle, now in Tyler's stomach, realized that he ha would have a hard time selling hot dogs if he could not move on his own. Kyle stretched out, inserting his arms and feet into the inside of Tyler's limbs. Kyle began to move Tyler around, grasping at the hot dogs on the table and throwing them towards his customers. 
Tyler was annoyed and started swinging his arms wildly and running running in circle. Kyle and Tyler fought for control over Tyler's motor functions. Hot dogs were sent flying, trash cans sprayed along the sidewalk. After many, many hours of fighting, Kyle and Tyler calmed down. They sat down on the sidewalk, and Kyle explained his feelings to Tyler. Tyler used Kyle, Kyle used Tyler's mouth to respond. As the two talked, they realized their mutual love of business, sociology, politics. Kyle and Tyler decided to go into business together. The next day was the start of a hot dog empire. Kyle and Tyler worked as a single unit, becoming the foremost hot dog salespeople in the nation. Their success knew no bounds. Within months, Kyle had blasted past the popularity of his old talk show. Kyle and Tyler remained good friends and were never seen apart from each other. Most because Kyle never managed to call his way back into to the real world. Kyle met Tyler. Jeez. Become something special. Become a hot dog salesman. Skip. Start day. Sit desk. Second desk drawer. Small key. Back to desk. Second desk drawer. Sort of change. Back to desk. Um, back to room. Open the closet. Choose an outfit. Hot dog suit. I'm wondering if I can buy more of a flyer if I don't use my money on batteries. I'm going to try that. The bedroom to hallway, pick like door, use hot dog magic, more, more. Give me hot dog stand. All right, back to hallway, move to kitchen, pick pantry, unlock a small key, pantry, grab hot dogs. Yes, we're doing it. Great success. All right, and now we return to hallway, we leave the apartment, visit the marketing agency. Approach the attendant. Purchase marketing. Kyle walked to the desk and placed the pocket change off the table. How much marketing can I get for this? Asked the Kyle. The attendant looked at his offering. Uh, it's the same thing. Still don't know what to do with it though. Talk about hot dogs. Excited by his new job as hot dog salesman, Kyle decided to share his happiness with the store clerk. Kyle opened mouth to speak. Okay, we've already done that. Kyle made his way to the street corner. I don't know what to do with the dang marketing item. Do I even get a marketing item? I don't think so. That's a thumbs up. After a long prep day of preparation, Kyle felt re very ready for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Maybe that is the marketing thing. Kyle started to unpack his things onto the corner of the street. Kyle took out his cart pieces and began to assemble them. With it, little trouble, eat. Kyle started to tear chunks of the sand he had just constructed and shoved them into his mouth. In moments, blah, 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 blah. Kyle did not stop. While the crowd formed around Kyle, Kyle stopped eating. Reconstruct hot dog stand. Wordless, Kyle reached into his mouth and down his throat. Kyle, keeping eye contact with the crowd, he grabbed most top, grabbed topmost chunk of stand in his stomach and drew it upwards. The atmosphere of worriness became potent. Kyle started to pull chunks out of his stomach very quickly. He threw it, threw them into the a pile on the ground. As the crowd watched terrified, Kyle began sticking the pieces of the stand together with the stomach juices. Soon Kyle had recreated his hot dog stand. But Kyle realized that his stand was only, was only step one. With an audience around him, he must start selling hot dogs. Kyle skipped behind his new stand, took out several old hot dogs from the pack, and laid them on the table. Nobody moved. The hot dogs began spinning violently on the table in spitting flame. Kyle's stomach juice had acted as a catalyst to a festering chemical reaction inside the food, making them unstable. One by one, the hot dogs started to balloon, doubling and tripling in size every second. Kyle tried to contain the hot dogs by smashing them with his fist. On contact, the hot dogs exploded with this massive force, throwing the crowd backwards across the road. Dripping with hot dog pulp, Kyle made a realization about himself. For him, it wasn't about the hot dogs. 
It wasn't about the customers, it was about the adventure. Kyle left the ruins of his hot dog stand with a new purpose. He would follow the cart of the adventure and not look back. The next day, Kyle embarked on a journey to the jungle to find a healthy amount of adventure. Upon arriving, he was eaten by a tiger and never heard of again from again. Kyle adventured. All right. I want to try to eat Gabby and then get ate by Tyler. That's what I'm going to do. Come a hot dog salesman. Let's get our day. Uh, become something special. Become a hot dog salesman. Skip. The desk. All right. Open the closet, choose an outfit, hot dog suit, do on suit. Take the bedroom hallway. Take a locked door, use hot dog magic. Eat to get the hot dog stand. Or come back to hallway. Move to kitchen. Take pantry. Lock a small key. Give me the hot dogs. Back to kitchen. Turn to hallway. Leave apartment. Visit tech store. Buy batteries. I don't think I did this in right order. Damn it. Yeah, I didn't do it right. Something wrong. Oh, then start place. Da, da, da. Ah, this is what happens if you don't have the advertisement. It was then that Kyle had, he had not bothered to acquire any advertisement for the cart. If the hot dog stand would be a success, Kyle realized he would need to do advertise all on his own. Kyle thought about, oh great, thought about his advertising options. Luck. Kyle figured that he would just get lucky and everything would turn out, would be okay, would work out okay. As people passed by, Kyle looked at them intently and grinned. Few noticed him, those that noticed didn't stop. Kyle, soon Kyle realized that in order to sell hot dogs, he needed to become more lucky. Kyle picked up his things and walked over to the local leprechaun pit. <laughs> Leprechauns began crawling out of the depths and circled around Kyle. A single elder leprechaun stepped forward, twirling his beard with one finger. What seeketh this man from the Council of Leprechauns and disturbed us from our slumber? asked the leprechaun. Kyle spoke confidently. I want to sell hot dogs. Leprechaun smiled and began stroking his chin. Ah, oh, yes, I understand. The leprechaun turned around. We can give you what you search for, said the leprechaun. But be aware, it will not come easily. Kyle paused, thinking about the offer. Except, the leprechauns jumped onto Kyle's face and started force-feeding themselves to him. Kyle's eyes bugged out and started swirling around and waving his hands, but the leprechauns did not stop. Soon, Kyle had begun force -fed ev been force-fed every leprechaun in the pit. Kyle realized that the leprechauns must have imbued him with their luck. Kyle rushed back to his hot dog post, excited to try his new luck on hot dog sales. Kyle stood behind the hot his hot dog crate and smiled. In fact, though, the leprechauns had been wrong. They had not imbued Kyle with their luck. Kyle had swallowed them needlessly. Kyle did not sell any hot dogs at a stand. Over the next couple weeks, Kyle hacked up small leprechaun skeletons every morning. Kyle ate the leprechauns. Uh, sucks to suck. <laughs> That's funny. Skip. Okay, well, I found a couple endings there, at least. At least four. My hot dog salesman, skip. Go day. Sit desk. Checking desk drawer. Small key. Back to desk. Back to room. I'm gonna try to go with normal clothes. There's a bedroom to hallway. Check locked door. Use hot dog magic. Alright, move to kitchen. Check pantry. Unlock with small key. Look in pantry. Grab hot dogs. 
All right, we're doing it. Turn the hallway. Leave apartment. Visit downstairs neighbor. Kyle made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, Kyle felt very ready for his first day as a hot dog salesman. Kyle started to unpack his things onto the corner of the street. Kyle took out his car pieces and began to assemble them. Kyle, with little trouble, da, 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 continue. Kyle then started to place the hot dogs he had bought into the cart. They were cold, but Kyle had never cooked hot dogs as a child and didn't want to start now. His prep finished, Kyle looked around and smiled, waiting for his first customer. It was then that Kyle realized he had not bothered to acquire any advertisements for his cart. The hot dog stand would be a success. Kyle realized he would need to do the advertise need to advertise all on his own. Kyle thought about his advertising options. Let's do luck and let's not eat the leprechauns. No, right, give me my options. Decline. The leprechauns looked at Kyle, tears in their eyes. Y'all wanted to die? Lee the leprechaun turned back to Kyle sadly. Is our leprechaun magic not pleasing to you? Kyle did not know what to say. He stared blankly forward, sad to cause disappointment. The leprechauns looked devastated. They hung, they hung their heads and slowly crawled back into their pit. Kyle was silent. He shuffled his feet awkwardly. Then in a moment of pure empathy, Kyle flung himself into the leprechaun pit in a show of dedication. Kyle landed on top of the leprechaun, squishing, immediately squishing them all. Within a few moments, Kyle had destroyed years of Irish history and legend. Kyle realized what had happened. He sheepishly crawled out of the pit and back to his apartment. He lay on his bed staring at the ceiling. After several hours, Kyle decided to never try to change his career again. Kyle destroyed culture. Start. Alright, skip. Come something special. Come hot dog salesman. Skip. Okay, start day. Open the closet. Yeah, we don't really need the hot dog soup. I might as well. It's going to give me time back. Sit desk. Take a desk drawer. Uh, small key. Yep. Back to room. Takes the bedroom in the hallway. And then we go to check the locked door. Use hot dog magic. Hot dog stand. And then we move to the kitchen, check the pantry, open lock with small key, grab hot dogs. Okay, we've done our job. Well, at least I know what the marketing does, so that's good at least. Press. All right, Kyle made his way to the street corner. After a long day of preparation, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we don't have a cart. And then we scream. Without hesitation, Kyle craned his neck toward the sky and let loose a blood curdling scream like no other. Everyone around Kyle stopped to look at him, unhappy with the noise. Kyle's screams continued and became more and more distasteful. Soon there was not a person in the city that was not unhappy with Kyle screaming. Kyle continued to scream throughout the night and into the next day. Kyle began to stop next to people began to stop next to Kyle for growing work to stand and frown. The re reach of his scream began to spread, reaching nearby cities, then states, then countries. The world grew a, a distaste for Kyle screaming. Families spent their evenings frowning. Nobody was terribly happy. A petition to move humanity away from Kyle's screaming was created. Everyone signed it. All of the nations of the world put their minds together and created a shuttle for humanity to leave Earth. Within a day, the human race had left on a trip to a new planet, away from the sound of Kyle's screams. Kyle continued to scream for many years, hoping somebody would buy a hot dog so he could stop. But there was nobody left to buy any hot dogs. Kyle was all alone. Kyle was alone. Start. Skip. Come something special. Come on, dog salesman. Skip. All right. So now, sit desk. Check nest drawer. Give me my key. Yep. All right. 
What if I have the hot dogs and I search for hot dogs at places? I might do that. See if it gives me anything. Oh crap. Whatever. I don't think I need that time anyways. Yay, hot dog stand acquired. Move to kitchen. Think about hot dogs. No, stop thinking about hot dogs. That's not what we meant to do. God dang it. Pantry, unlock with small key. Look at pantry, grab hot dogs. All right. Da 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 da. All right, what's our last option? Personal engagement. Kyle could not think of any better marketing strategy than good old fashioned personal con connection. Kyle waited for a pedestrian to walk by. Soon, a young couple walked towards him, la holding hands and laughing at each other. Kyle grabbed the young man's hand from the woman, drew him close, and looked into his eyes ple pleadingly. Hey, you, Kyle said quietly. There's something I need you to do for me. Kyle drew the man's hand from in front of his face and down the, to rest on the pile of hot dogs on the cart. He patted the top of the man's head. There was a long, long silence. Nobody moved. Then Kyle got bored and started repeatedly smashing his own face into the hot dog pile. Buy my hot dogs, please, said Kyle. Kyle started to scream uncontrollably. Then suddenly Kyle used his deep knowledge of hot dog magic to start shooting hot dogs from his fingertips. Kyle shot the hot dog across every part of the street. They came out of his fingers in massive amounts. Kyle couldn't resist. He tipped his fingers into his mouth and began to consume all of the hot dogs himself. Kyle didn't stop eating the hot eating the hot dogs flying from his fingers. He continued to eat all evening and into the next day. Kyle didn't want to stop eating, but he knew he had responsibilities to take care of. Kyle started to walk to his studio, keeping his hands lodged in his mouth the whole way. Kyle conducted a night interview while consuming hot dog, and the next night and the next night. Kyle never stopped eating hot dogs. It became part of his personality as much as anything else. Kyle began to not enjoy eating hot dogs at all, at all times, but since it was now expected of him, he continued. Eating hot dogs became nothing more than a part of his job, just like getting dressed in the morning in tax forms. Kyle had expanded his professional skill set. Kyle expanded his skill set. Alright, what we got now? Three left. That's going to be the hard one, I bet. Maybe if I use my flashlight, open the closet. All right, exit bedroom to hallway, leave apartment, Tech store. My batteries will change, insert in the flashlight, back to Open the closet, inspect with flashlight. Okay. So now, exit the bedroom. Check lock door. Use hot dog magic. Check sewing machine. All right. 
Move to kitchen. Check pantry. I wonder if I have, if I pretend to be a hot dog while I'm, I have the supernatural artifact, it'll turn me into one. Yes! Kyle's atoms have lost all their bonds. He had turned into nothing more than a meat-based soup. Harness artifact. The artifact bobbing on top of the soup... The soup of Kyle began to glow and shudder. Kyle's loose DNA had changed the artifact's power. It began to whine and lift into the air. Then, with a large bang and a flat, several flashes of light, the artifact blew into countless projectile pieces. Kyle was no longer soupy. He had been charged into a large bipedal hot dog. Kyle lived life running from grocery store clerks and hungry puppies. But his career as a talk show host flourished. Viewers from all countries turned in ev tuned in every week to see the strange addicts of a sentient hot dog. Since Kyle had lost his ability to speak, most of his show consisted of waving his arms up and down very meaningfully. Kyle remained famous, but was also... Now Kyle was a hot dog. Kyle was a hot dog ending. Thank God. Two more. We still didn't get the important one, though. Start. All right, skip, become something special, become a hot dog salesman, skip. Start day, open the uh, desk, check in desk drawer, small key, back to desk, back to room, exit bedroom to hallway, move to kitchen, open fridge, eat the fridge, yay. Delicious. Pick pantry, unlock a small key, look in pantry, grab hot dogs, more, more. Back to kitchen, return to hallway, return to bedroom, open closet, choose an outfit, hot dog suit, do on suit, more, more. Exit bedroom to hallway, let's try. Lock door. Use hot dog magic. Check sewing machine. Nothing. Check supernatural artifact. You come with me. Uh, get laser claymore. Back to hallway. Leave apartment. Doesn't marketing agency. After a long day, something, 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 never got a food to put his card in, put the thing on the ground. Kyle began to roll his, uh, continue with the bottom of his shoes. Soon all the dogs were sufficiently. Kyle swept his hot dogs into a pile and sat on the concrete next to them. Produce fridge. As Kyle sat, something occurred to him. If he were to run a hot dog stand, how would he keep his hot dogs clean and safe to eat? Kyle sat on the ground, feeling a little upset and unsure for himself. But in a sudden burst of it on inspiration, Cal spewed the contents of his stomach onto the sidewalk. There were upright, there upright, bright in the sun was his fridge. Cal pulled the sticky door open. It was still slightly cold. Cal thought it would be fine to store the hot dogs. Cal began to shove hot dogs into every section of the open fridge, storing dozens among the crusts of food. Soon, Kyle had stored every hot dog he had brought with him, and his mission was complete, but Kyle did not stop. Kyle started to rip chunks of concrete out of the sidewalk and put them into the corners of the fridge. Kyle continued stashing. Soon, there was no sidewalk left. But Kyle was still not finished. It's, he started to grab at nearby items to insert into the fridge. Trash can, light posts, and passerby could not w withstand him. All were stashed into Kyle's fridge. A large crater was slowly formed, demonstrating Kyle's ravenous hoarding. It became visible from space. That is when the slug invasion came. They came over the buildings from the sewers and sprouted from the earth. This was not a normal slug m migration. The slugs were intentional. The slugs were dominant. As Kyle looked around him, the slugs moved to cover every surface in a do every surface in a dominant takeover. This fridge full to bursting past any imagination stood by him. It shone bright among the slugs. Kyle looked upon his creation, a magnum opus of storage. 
He loved it. It was his, but he knew what he needed to do. Kyle threw open the fridge, sending a shockwave of cement, people, and hot dogs flying in every direction. The slugs, blown away by the outburst of material, were blasted into the sky. Instantly, they flew away and far, far out of sight. The city looked as if it had never been touched. The slugs had been halted for now. Kyle looked around himself, observing the remains of his beautiful creation. It was sad, yes, but Kyle smiled. He had delayed the slug coming slug invasion for another year. Kyle fought the slugs. Okay, finally, one more left. Jeez. Ooh, it's been a journey. Uh, become something special, become a hot dog salesman, skip. Start day. Scavenge. Hot dogs. Give me my envelopes. Back to bedroom. Take the bedroom in the hallway. Leave apartment. Where's downstairs neighbor? And then ask Gabby for a pen. Give me that pen. Thank you. Back to street. Turn to apartment. And then we go to our bedroom. Let's get dressed. Use an outfit, hot dog suit. Eat it. Give me my time back. All right. Said desk. Rewrite love letters. More. Point out recipient's its flaws. Exit bedroom to hallway. Return to uh, leave apartment. Visit marketing agency. Rubbish in trash. More press. Eagerly press the button. The wall above the trash can starts shifting and spinning. Blah 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 blah. Ah, insert weapon like letter. <laughs> Embraces only a true weapon. Kyle took the written le rewritten letter in his hand and pressed it into the indent. It fit perfectly, as if it had been written for this very purpose. As Kyle continued to watch, the letter began to glow softly. It sank deeper and deeper into the slab. Kyle was fixated on the letter. He watched it slowly turn and start to glow. In a flash of light, Kyle was in his old high school, watching himself interact with the schoolmates. He watched himself walk from class to class. He started him he saw himself eat a napkin to try to <laughs> impress Abigail. He then saw himself eat several textbooks to try to impress Abigail. He saw himself get kicked out of the library. This is his origin story. <laughs> God dang. He was trying to impress her. That's why he can eat anything. Kyle watched himself write letter after letter to his crush's friends and even just people that seemed down. They weren't mean letters or even strange. Kyle had written them to be cheering, cheery and uplifting. Each one ended... Crumpled in his pocket, never delivered. Kyle remembered the compassion he had for the people around him, but he saw his inability to express it well. Kyle saw the decisions he made about his career. He watched himself consider going into hot dog sales. Kyle watched himself choose to forgo his passion and choose a career in entertainment instead. His career quickly grew. He became known, popular, famous. Kyle didn't change. Kyle continued to be himself. The audience saw his strange gen... Genuinity. <laughs> uh, Kyle continued to run his talk show night after night. Viewers tuned in and left his annex and strange personality. Slowly, Kyle's story came to present day. Kyle was strange, staring at the wall at the, of the marketing agency, clutching a letter. With the start, Kyle became aware of himself. Kyle walked out of the agency and into the approaching evening. The sky was deep orange. Wisps of clouds streaked left and right in graceful patterns. The sun was setting. Kyle wouldn't be selling hot dogs tonight, or the next night, or ever. Kyle, while Kyle traveled to his studio, there he met Rachel. They filmed an episode of the show, his show together. The audience loved it. At the end of the night, Kyle walked outside and directed himself towards his apartment. As he traveled, his hand brushed the crumpled letters in his pocket. Kyle squeezed them in his palm. They would never leave his ownership. There was no need. Kyle had found his own way to deliver them. Kyle was still famous. Thank God we did it. Okay, we got all the endings. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It definitely gives me more motivation to put all that put effort into the channel. And I hope you guys like the video. And as always, I'll leave a link to the DLC and the content of uh, the description. And thanks as always, guys. I always appreciate you guys watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> I love these games though, they're pretty good. That's crazy.